<laughs> and who knows what's in my coffee mug when I'm at home? <laughs> it's just coffee. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things, by the way. My uh, my wife gave me this for my birthday oh, um, that, that a few huge. years oh. ago. Yeah, so I'll, I'll. Do you mind if I read it to you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, read it so, in your Drago voice, though. <laughs> if you okay, can. well, it won't make much sense in my Drago voice, but I will. Um, so I one one time on the Danforth in Toronto, I found an, in this dollar store near um, this place called the SoCap Theater. It's a it's a comedy and, and improv place in Toronto. Great place on the east side of Toronto. And uh, sometimes before going in there for classes or performing or whatever, I'd, I'd pop into the dollar store and just see if they have any fun toys or whatever. So they would often have knockoff toys, like, you know, stuff that's not officially licensed. So they had this Batman figure, and it looked terrible, just this, like, rubber thing. And they had a picture from Batman Begins on the front. And then on the back, they had the bio of Batman. And I, uh, I took a picture of it because it was so hilarious. I should have bought it. And I told my wife it was my favorite thing in the world. I thought it was so funny. It makes me cry whenever I read it. It's so funny. And um, so she got it printed on a mug. So this is the biography of Batman according to a dollar store toy. And I'll do it in Drago. Batman begins. When being a child, Bruce Wayne had witnessed with his own eyes the fact his parents of millionaire were killed cruelly so affected his strong desire of revenging his parents. However, God had never given him a chance to fulfill his will. Following the advice of Ra's al Ghul, the chief of ninja group, Bruce come to Geet, which was a corrupted city filled with various crime groups. Bruce found a basement under his villa in which the equipments turned him into another person, Spider-Man. <laughs> with this mask, Spider-Man stroke all criminal activates and criminals everywhere, such as Tugon, the chief of mafia, Dr. Jack Straw, the abnormal drug trafficker, even a mysterious opponent's quite familiar with him. So this, uh, <laughs> that makes me laugh every time I read it. They just totally got, for some reason, this Batman Begins bio mentions Spider-Man twice. <laughs> They're not even in the same universe. And uh, I've also played the video game that came out for PS3 because, uh, you know, they had the cast, the, the original cast involved with that. Yes. Um, but it was hard. I didn't get far enough to even hear my voice in that game. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, th was I played the game on stream and I finished the game. <laughs> oh, good for you. And, uh, awesome. your, and uh, yeah, your performance great as usual <laughs> oh good to hear thanks <laughs> yeah lion smith in that uh was was in that too i think he he played the character that you play um if i have that correctly lion smith so, was the uh created character he was also masquerade in the original show yeah, so. that's right he was masquerade in the original originally actually he was cast as drago actually what Uh, yeah, yeah, he did a, a few episodes as Drago, and then um, I think the production company decided that they wanted someone who sounded a little meaner, because um, Lion's a sweetheart, and of course he has tons of great range. He's great at playing those really youthful characters. Um, he can do stuff with his voice that he can sound younger, and, and I can't do that. I, I have an older, gruffer, deeper voice. Um, sometimes I can get into the into the teen area, but, but he's really good at... at uh, at really bringing the drama and the action to his characters is just awesome. So, uh, you know, I felt I felt bad that he didn't uh, he didn't book Drago, but I felt good that I did, and that he got to do other things like Masquerade, and people love Masquerade, yes. and he's got to do a bunch of other things too. He's a great musician, and he works in theater and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's cool. So it, it's good that uh, I'm glad the OGs are doing all these different things as well. <laughs> You know, that does kind of explain why Masquerade's voice in some of those early episodes was not as deep and threatening as they are in the later ones. Grant you any wish with these. All you have to do is use them. I can grant you any wish with these cards here. All you have to do is use them. Also, Jason DeLine should totally read some audiobooks. In which the equipments turned him into another person. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> 